What's up guys, I'm Glenn and I enjoy doing my projects around the house. Today I'm building a concrete candle holder on DIY Creators. I pre-cut a few pieces of wood, then use a hot glue gun to form the box. This way I can pull it apart rather easy. I started out with the right idea using a measuring tape and I ended up ditching it thinking that I could eyeball it and that didn't work out so well. I made some reference line on the wood which I wanted to center the candles on. I laid down a piece of plastic because I had a feeling I was going to make a mess and I did. I'm using a concrete mix which is pretty easy to use. All you have to do is just add some water and just mix it. started out great on this one as well and um, I kind of lost my focus and as you can see I made my concrete mix a bit too watery but it's fine it'll dry out it just take a little longer to dry out when you add too much water insert the candles and now I'm going to put it outside to get some sun and speed up the drying process after about 20 minutes of drying I removed the candles because I did not want them to get stuck all I wanted was the holes After about two hours of sitting, I went and checked on the form and checked the opening of the hole to see if it was easy to put a candle in. If it wasn't, I just scraped some of the extra out. Now I'm going to remove the form because it's strong enough to hold itself. The three sides came off rather easy. The fourth side, not so much. I had a bit of a struggle with it, but I eventually got it off. If you wanted a smooth form, now would be the time to get a wet sponge and smooth out the form so you don't see the holes, but I was okay with the holes. And now after sitting for two days, the form just separated from the piece of wood. And now I'm going to give it a quick sand to remove the rough edges and any loose particles that's on the form. I use a concrete lacquer which gives the form a wet look and also a layer of protection so when handling cement dust doesn't rub off on your hands. If you don't like the wet look, you can always get a concrete sealer that looks dry. For the bottom base I use 1x2 pine and miter the corners. I'm using a bucket to mark the arch under the base and you can use this or anything you have with some kind of curve to it to do this. If you don't have a bandsaw or you find this part a little too difficult to tackle, you can always get creative and do something a little different or you can leave it as is. The arch just make it stand out a little more in my opinion. Once that's done, it's time to head over to the sander and clean it up a bit. For the final sanding, I'm going to hand sand the corners off and give it a smoother finish with a 220 grit sandpaper. Add a dab of wood glue and a pin nailer to anchor these together. I hardly use this nail gun, but in this application, the pin nailer is perfect. I'm using a mahogany gel stain, which is pretty simple to use. Just brush it on and wipe it off with a rag. I drilled a quarter inch hole in each corner because I'm using cabinet bumpers to protect whatever surface I wish to place this on.
If you want to attach wood and concrete together, epoxy is definitely the way to go. Now I'm applying the epoxy, which I want to keep on the inner portion of the base because once I press down on the concrete, it will spread and I don't want it to come out on the outside. Apply a little weight to it, and now we get back to this in a few hours. Install the candles, and we're done.